Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your truly Lord Hinder the Mad. We're approaching 10 penny towers, which. At least that's what I think it is. Looks like an important enough landmark to be just that. I only know of the place by reputation because it's filled with evil! There was apparently someone in Megaton whom you could. Uh, Make a deal with that included uh, simply watching Megaton burn from afar. Hi. Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. What are you selling? Have a look and see for yourself. Pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna drink those. Of course I'm gonna take those. It's seven caps for absolutely nothing. I can sell those for ten. Yes, I did just say I can sell seven caps for absolutely Thanks. nothing. Wait. But, but I... Move <laughs> on, I just got confused by my own silliness because I wasn't exactly sure what I just said and then I went with something quite the opposite, I think. I'm quite sure that wasn't what I said. Okay, um... Anyone seen any monkeys? Looking for monkeys. To put in a group. Please be a mine, please be a... Oh. Building some cars is always a good time. Ah, uh, that's the non-functional type of car again. I don't like those, those aren't no oh, functional. This one on the other hand is run away. Wait. I can zoom in. I didn't know that. Yes, I'm stuck spamming the zoom in button now because I didn't know it can zoom in. Me! That's a grocer? The, this was a gas station. Which is grocer's problem? Bye. There's a safe. There's an empty gas station. Tales of a vendor. Which is a book about stuff. So breathe more money? Sure. Oh. That's sort of a small uh, thingy there for storing money. Reminds me of this one time when we were playing Murder and Shri Shrike, Mr. Shrike, a fancy Yorkshire gentleman, decided to hide from the murderer in the top shelf of a cupboard. We have no idea how he got there, but that's what he did. And he did pretty well. I don't know how to open locks. Fine, eventually I see it there. So. Yay. Is it a spatula? No, that's a... That's beer and dirt. What a shame. Kind of a sham. I don't see any quantum or anything like that, so I think I'm just gonna take a step outside. And uh, do what's that then? I think that's what I wanted to do. Get the gun. Bring it out. What's the tower? I can't watch the tower. No! Guess they're not dying yet. I was hoping I could kill them. You have discovered Ten Penny Tower. You can tell Ten Penny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. 
I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not he, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine, I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Hi. Ah, I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. Fine, uh, oh, is there the car beast from over there? I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? What? Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were one of those damn ghouls looking for a handout. You are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. You have some reason to be here? Nah, I just want to look around a little. Come on, it won't hurt anyone. This ain't a theme park, kid. Even if it was, you wouldn't be able to afford the admission. Now bugger off. Open the damn gate. You're really not in a position to be threatening me. I'm safe on the other side of this wall. You are out there, exposed and unsafe. You have a lot to learn, kid. I think I'll let the wasteland teach it to you. Try not to die out there. Let me an asshole. Goodbye. You haven't heard all right, then. I don't know who's on the other side, but I... Uh... I seem to have sold all of my grenades. This this door does some bad. Never mind. Long story short. I wish this had a descent angle. That wasn't enough. I need to climb somewhere. I guess Roy is around somewhere. If I shot, if I actually managed to shoot someone, would they open the main gate? Can I jumping puzzle this? No. Can I get a good vantage point from anywhere? Uh, no. Makes me wish I had kept the fat man on me. That sounds like something different from what I meant. The fat man is the mini new launcher. Just to remind you. Quite sure that doesn't launch projectiles in a straight way. Oh, 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 caution. I'm also stuck in a hole. No more. Oh, there seems to be a fight over there. Cheesy one liner. Baby. That's how I roll. Wait, are there more? More cheese for a liner. Hello, sir. You look like a trader. Wait. We've got this area locked down. Yes? Hi. What do you need? Uh, all of your stuff. A few odds and ends. Yeah, as I said, all of your stuff. Actually, not all of your money. The stuff is... Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna use it... For... Um, but I would be lying if I said I would use it for good. So... Good enough for me. Bye. Another satisfied customer. Later. Later. Who lives in this house? Is it a monkey shroom house place? Full of monkey shroom house people. 
Someone left the water on. And it's green? What do you think you're doing? You're visiting your house. Hi. Hey there. Do you have anything for sale? A few odds and ends. All right, I'll stick by with that Thanks. for now. See ya. Bye. Okay, have a fun time cooking, I guess. Okay, go check upstairs. Oh, I can sleep here. Great, thanks. Well, in one of the beds, anyway. Good to see you. What is this? Some sort of a shelter house. Good to see you. I thought they said it was abandoned. This doesn't look abandoned at all. It's a hula girl, even. Apparently. Does it look like a hula girl? I guess it does. Wait. Is she... Is she... Topless? I guess it's fine. Zoom. Ooh, a missile. That was my missile launcher anyway. I find the shot so I can probably repair it. Yeah. More missile launches is always nice. Also get that bloody frag grenade right in my hands so I can throw it over the wall and ghost them all for the bloody hack that they are. Yeah. What's hack? I don't know what the heck that is, but I'm gonna toss a grenade over this wall to see if I can hit one of those things, whatever that thing is. That's an invisible wall. Is that an invisible wall? That is not an invisible That is an invisible wall. Let's see if we can aim it any higher to see if we won't hit an invisible wall. That was an invisible wall. Let's see if we can hit another one and it was still an invisible wall. Fuck you then, Penny. I'm gonna go somewhere else instead. In fact, I think my plan now should include returning to Mara to supply her with all the knowledge I have gained in my travels and complete the bloody guide of the survival of the Vistans. It's kind of like the survival of the fittest, but of the Vistans. I don't know why, why where that voice came from. I that accent even. I got nothing to say to you. What? Uh, huh? Yeah. What is it? You have nothing to say to me. What's wrong? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Uh, just take all the stuff until I have. All right. Let me count out your caps. What happened? Well, back to work. You said you had nothing to say to. I thought we were friends. Oh, is it because I purified all the water so your water processing plant is less around now? That just gives you more time to rest. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Uh, you could say that. I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing! Tell me all about how it worked out. Uh, even after reprogramming, the robots were of questionable value as allies. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, uh, made by humans. Well, probably manufactured by other robots, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades just in case. <laughs> Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. And now the book is complete, right? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help.
It certainly was an epic piece of work, so is the final product worth it? Oh my, it's, it's brilliant! Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh, no, 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 it's more than that. By our genius. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Oh, yay. Cool. Okay, um, bye. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. I'm fine selling this fine leather jacket. Oh. She probably doesn't mean those leather jackets. Okay. Let's repair that. Why not? And then let's eat some books. That was worthless. I should have eaten that. I could have sold that. You also shouldn't refer to it as eating things when it really kind of isn't eating things. Okay, I, I go and check on my number of uh, the quantum bottles briefly and then I think I'm gonna uh, head out and do Death from Above. Seems like it could be fun. I'll be honest with you, I kind of think uh, I intend to clear up some things in the base of... Um, what was I hitting at? I forgot. Okay, I don't have enough quantum. I, I, I'm thinking of concluding this series. So... I... I think I may just do the broken steel arcs and then just finish this. Of course, if there is some particular mission you think I should do or particular DLC or anything like that, uh, let me know and I'll look into it. So I guess I could actually go ahead and uh, go back to World 101 and fix that issue already. Though I suppose I should first listen to the emergency this frequency. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 1. Thanks, but that's enough. Alright, time to cut down some of this trouble and some of this paradise. Need a kill to get that. I know I did on my first try. Signs everywhere. Oh, Wilkins. Wilkins is dead. I don't remember who Wilkins was, but he's dead now. There's a roach here. And, it's, and, it, and, and it, is, it is attacking me. Armstrong's dead as well. Sheesh. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... 
hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Uh, I I just thought I'd stop back home for a bit. How's that want? You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. What sort of trouble do you mean? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. Uh, that would be horrified to know all that if, if you were still alive. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why well, stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Wait, why don't the rebels just leave? It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. Oh, okay. Uh, can you leave me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I would uh, like to see Amata. Okay, follow me. Yes, that's why right. I just asked for directions and we went the other way. Is that how you handle things? Got them roaches. It's been some really insect trouble since the last time we were here. Real insects. Like the vault keep vault overseer for example. Real insect that one. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hello, hi. Didn't do anything wrong. What's wrong? Hi. Hey. What's the problem? We're acting really aggressive right now.